Okay, uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Okay, uh, the date for today is uh, May 19, 2024 and the time is, uh, what time is it? Uh, 1.53 a.m. Okay, my topic for this morning will be a long video for my topic. Okay, it's a lecture. Uh, and this will be lesson number 8 now. This is a continuation of my long video topic, analytic geometry, and we are now on lesson number 8. Okay. Uh, a while ago, I just finished my... <laughs> What I get this video on cooking. Uh, it's just uh, some part of my channel. Okay, my my channel comprises of the variable thing. It comprises of mathematics plus some other things. Okay, but the main concentration on the uh, long video topic are actually mathematics. Okay, let's proceed. Our lesson for this morning will be Analytic Geometry, lesson number 8, and the title of the topic will be Problem on Slope Concept, meaning uh, we will be solving a problem in which the solution will be by using the concept of the so-called uh, slope. Uh, slope meaning uh, it will be the difference in ordinate over the difference in abscissa concept. Okay, I will try to read the problem. I will read it, then I will try to summarize this one by presenting the figure corresponding to the verbal equivalent. Okay. <coughs> AC is the diameter of the circle. Oh, sorry for this one. Uh, this should be circle. There is a circle here. AC is the diameter of the circle at point B. Uh, the center of the circle is actually point B. And according to the problem, AC is actually the diameter. So we got a circle here. The distance from point A to point C is actually the diameter in which the center of the circle is actually at point B. Okay. And the coordinates of points a and C. The problem uh, give us now the coordinates of points A and C. Uh, the coordinates of point A is given. The coordinate of points is given. Uh, the coordinates of points A and C, I will continue, are negative 1 and 1. This is uh, negative 1 and 1. This is minus 1. This is minus 1. This is point C. Uh, point A. Right? And uh, 3 and 7. Uh, this is point C. If we try to locate this one, uh, the abscissa will be 3. This is 1, 2, 3. And the ordinate will be 7. So 3 and 7, it will be this uh, point here. Right? The coordinates is uh, 3 and 7. If line L is tangent to the circle at point A, we got a line. And that line is designated by capital letter L. And uh, this line here is tangent to the circle at this point here. Okay? I will continue. If line L is tangent to the circle at point A, what is the equation of line L? Okay? <coughs> okay, I will give the summary of the figure. We are given a circle... And the endpoints of the diameter are actually points A and C, in which the coordinates of the two points are actually given. For point A, it's negative 1 and 1, meaning the abscissa is negative 1, right? The ordinate is negative 1. Negative 1, negative 1, so they are both negative, it pulls under the third quadrant. And the other point is actually point C. Uh, the coordinates are actually 3 and 7. Like what I said, this is 3 and this is 7. So the coordinate of this one is uh, 3 and 7. And the center of the circle is at this point here. We are not given the center of the circle. 
Uh, it, it, it is just given that point B is the center of the circle. And there is a line designated by capital letter L. Okay, and this line here, here is tangent to the circle at point A. The point of tangency is only at point A. The problem is asking what will be y equal to a function of x of that given line. What will be the equation of this uh, tangent right here? Okay, let's try to bring out the solution. Uh, the solution is just simply a simple solution. Uh, if you could visualize the problem, uh, I think uh, this will be a good example of on the concept uh, regarding slope. Okay, uh, let's try to bring out the solution. Uh, firstly, uh, we will find the slope of uh, line L1. Uh, I introduce here, <coughs> sorry for this one, I'll get my state age. This is the diameter of the circle, right? And of course, this is a straight line. I, I, I just extend a little bit Okay, so this is actually the line passing through the diameter and I, I designate that line passing through the diameter to be L1, right? Okay, so what I will do first is that uh, I will find the slope of line L1. Okay, uh, we could find for the slope of line L1 meaning the diameter uh, equation because uh, we are given two points, right? If we try to get the slope of line L1, uh, we need two points. So the first point is actually point A and point B. So that's an easy one. And slope is actually the difference in ordinate over the difference in abscissa. So it will be M1 will be equal to, uh, we'll take this one as our point P2, and this will be our P1. So this will be Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So if this is uh, our point P2 now, uh, point P2 is actually point C, right? The ordinate at point C is actually 7, right? Because the slope is by definition the change in ordinate over change in abscissa, we are given two points. Okay, so it should be 7 minus minus 1. The operation is minus, open quantity minus 1. All over the abscissa here is 3. The operation is subtraction, open quantity minus 1. Because uh, the coordinates of the second point is actually negative 1, negative 1. So we must have to put the quantity. It's very critical because the operation here is uh, uh, subtraction. And since uh, the one we are subtracting is actually with a negative uh, value, we must have to put the parentheses. And if we try to simplify this one, uh, this is now algebra, right? Uh, 7 minus minus 1, okay. So it will become 7 plus 1, right? Or minus minus 1, it will become plus 1 again. So this is plus 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. 3 plus 1 is 4. And this should be equal to 2. So the slope of uh, line L1. Line L1 is actually the equation of the diameter, right? The slope is actually equal to 2. A positive 1. Positive one, positive slope is actually a slope. The emanation should be from left to right, so upwards to the right. So it's a positive slope, right? So we now know the slope of this one, okay? And this is the tangent line. And what is the relation between uh, this uh, line L1 here and the unknown line L? Uh, what is the relation of the slope? Oh, what is the relation of the figure? Uh, they are perpendicular to each other, right? Uh, this line L1 is perpendicular to the unknown line L, right? So this is actually a 90 degrees, right? Next step, uh, we shall now try to find the slope of line L, okay? Uh, if we try to find the slope of line L, uh, we will be using the so-called uh, slope concept. Uh, regarding per per perpendicular lines, uh, M1, so, sorry for that one, 
If we are considering two lines, right? M1, M2 is actually equal to negative 1 or M1 equal to negative 1 over M2. Right? So we will be using this equation here. That's why the title of our topic for tonight is a problem on the so-called slope concept. And uh, luckily, the slope we are taking is actually the slope of perpendicular lines. Uh, what is the relation between the slope of two perpendicular lines? It is actually given by this equation here. So if we try to find for the slope of line L, uh, N now, uh, this is subscript L, meaning the slope of the unknown line L. Right? It should be equal to negative 1 all over M1. Uh, the slope of the tangent line is the negative reciprocal of the slope of line L1. So it is this. Right? Slope concept for perpendicular lines. Okay? And what will be the value? It should be, we now know M1, right? So this is negative 1 over 2. So the slope of uh, the unknown line L is actually negative 1 half. It's negative 1. Okay? <coughs> uh, why negative? Uh, the emanation for the designation of the slope is actually from left to right. So from left to right, from left to right, uh, the slope of this is actually negative 1 half. Right? So this is a negative slope. Up uh, downwards to the right, uh, because the emanation should be from left to right of this. Right? And to find the equation of the tangent line now, uh, we are given the point of tangency, right? Okay? And we are given the slope. We have computed for the slope already because we know the relation of the slope between line L1 and the unknown line L. So, uh, by using the so-called point slope or uh, slope of uh, line L, uh, this is a subscript L, equal to uh, take any point on the tangent line. Take any point. Uh, that will be point P. And uh, the coordinates of this one will be X, Y. Because we are solving for the equation, right? So, this is X, Y. So, if we try to take the slope of... Uh, uh, this la line L here, we will be considering this uh, point E here and this point B. So, slope of uh, line L will be Y, the Y of this, minus minus Y sub 1, okay, all over X, the X of uh, this one, point P, minus minus 1, okay. And, but uh, we know the value of uh, ML, right? We have computed already. It's negative one half. So after substituting ML, uh, uh, what remains on the equation will just be simply X and Y. It will now be the relation of X and Y, meaning we are now solving for the equation of Y as a function of X. So negative one half, this should be equal to, this will become uh, plus one, right? This will become plus one also. So this is y plus 1 over x plus 1. And if we try to simplify, negative 1 half times x plus 1 will be this one. And this should be equal to y plus 1, right? And if we try to expand the left hand side, minus 1 half x minus 1 half. And we will transpose this uh, 1 here to the left. It will become negative. Uh, this negative 1 here is actually... It can be written, negative 1 can be written as negative 2 halves. So actually, this negative 1 half plus uh, negative 2 halves, uh, the sum of that is actually, uh, the sum will be negative 3 halves. Right? Okay? So the equation now of the required tangent line will be equal to y, equal to uh, there is a common factor negative one half, negative one half times x, right? And negative one half times three is actually negative three half. So we factor out negative one half, it's outside. So this is negative one half times the quantity x plus three. So the equation of the tangent line is actually uh, the equation of this one is y equal to negative one half times the quantity x plus three. So this is our answer. 
Okay, uh, that's it, guys. Uh, it's an easy one because uh, we know the relation of the slope of perpendicular lines. That's why the title of the topic for uh, this morning is actually problem on the so-called slope concept. And luckily, what we have solved is are actually perpendicular lines. Okay, so for those of you who would like to watch my channel, uh, you can watch my channel. I got long video for my topics. It's almost 10 subjects already. It's a complete syllabus. So if you are actually serious in taking up your engineering or of course if you want to pass also you SET or CET you can uh, watch my long video format it's a good uh, exercise right not only by seeing the short videos on YouTube you know? because uh, the long video format it's actually a complete thing right it's a complete thing. It's not only within the 60 seconds uh, time. So for those of you who would like to watch my channel, you could watch my channel. Thank you. Okay, my channel is at youtube.com slash at If you want to share it, please share. I am assuring you, you will learn something from it. Okay, good morning from Los Angeles. Professor David Jeddler.